Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Russia, known as the world's second most powerful country, has recently faced many difficulties. The situation on the front line is tense, and the country is in a chip shortage crisis. Since the outbreak of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, the United States, and its allies have imposed unprecedentedly severe sanctions on Russia, ranging from weapons to energy, from chips to various items in life, and even Russian pet cats have been affected. From the Russian-Ukrainian conflict in recent months, we can see the severe challenges Russia faces in chip supply. Shortly after the outbreak of the war, chip giants such as Intel, AMD, Apple and Qualcomm announced that they would cut off supply to Russia, and their offices in Russia were quickly evacuated. Over time, due to the lack of chip supply, Russia's weapons and military production capacity have been seriously affected. There are reports that Russia has even had to dismantle chips from civilian equipment, such as dishwashers and refrigerators for military use. There are also reports that some tanks have been forced to stop production due to chip shortages. Now that the war has lasted for nearly a year, TSMC has also imposed chip sanctions on Russia and refused to refund its chip manufacturing costs. In this case, Russia seems unable to continue to maintain the war. In the field of chips, not only international big names such as Intel, AMD, and Qualcomm have cut off their supply to Russia, but surprisingly, China's TSMC and Lungsan have also refused to ship to Russia. So why did China's TSMC and Lungsan decide to cut off their supply? Can Russia, which lacks chips, win the conflict with Ukraine? TSMC has decided not to produce chips for Russia anymore. According to the Russian newspaper Commerçant, due to sanctions, the supply of Russia's self-developed processors in personal computers and servers has dropped sharply, with only 15,000 computers and 8,000 servers supplied this year. The core reason behind this is Russia's lack of chip manufacturing capabilities. Although Russia's local chip companies, such as Baikal Electronics and MCST, have chip design capabilities, their chip production relies on TSMC for foundry. As the world's top chip foundry, TSMC occupies 53% of the market share, its process level has reached 3 nanometers, and its products are of high quality and stable performance. Russia's choice to cooperate with such a company was originally a wise decision. But the problem is that TSMC is deeply dependent on European and American technology, and its major shareholders are mainly from the United States. Therefore, TSMC is largely affected by US policies. As early as September 15, 2020, TSMC followed U.S. regulations and stopped manufacturing chips for Huawei, even though Huawei was its second-largest customer at the time. Compared with Huawei, Russian companies have smaller orders, so it is reasonable for TSMC to refuse to provide services to them. But unfortunately, TSMC not only withheld the chips produced for Russia, but also refused to return the funds for unfinished orders, and TSMC has remained silent on this matter. On the other hand, although China is also facing severe external pressure and challenges, the existence of domestic chips, such as Lungsan provides us with a certain strategic buffer and room for maneuver, and its importance is self-evident. If a war breaks out, these chips that rely on external technology and authorization may not be used normally for various reasons, 
while domestic Lungsen can play a key role in ensuring the country's independent and controllable capabilities at critical moments, and its strategic value is self-evident. It is worth mentioning that the self-developed Long Arch architecture adopted by Lungsen and the EDA software of Hua Da Jiuqian in China ensure its autonomy and controllability in the design stage. In the manufacturing stage, it can rely on domestic foundry manufacturers such as SMIC to realize the production of chips with processes such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. As for the packaging and testing stage, it is China's strength. Domestic manufacturers such as Changdian Technology are fully capable of providing high-quality services. In this way, Lungsen can achieve autonomy and control in the entire industrial chain to provide strong protection for the country's strategic security. In fact, Lungsen has been widely used in the field of national defense and military industry. For example, in 2015, our BIDA navigation satellite has begun to use Lungsen CPU. At the same time, the Battlefield Command system also adopted Lungsen 1B as its terminal processor. In addition, Lungsen 2H and 3A are used in network switching equipment, which improves the performance and security of the equipment. Even military computers are equipped with Lungsen to ensure information security. It can be said that most of the military equipment we can access at present have adopted domestic Lungsen processors. It can be seen from this that the core technology such as Lungsen must have a profound impact on the overall situation of the war. Therefore, the strategy of not exporting Lungsen is a completely reasonable decision. I would like to say a few words before concluding. Since the Lungsen project was launched in 2002, it has gone through 20 years of trials and tribulations, and it is indeed hard won to achieve today's achievements. With its 100% autonomy, Lungsen has been widely used in the field of national defense and military industry, and has played a vital role in the overall situation of the war. It can undoubtedly be regarded as a strategic resource. Although there is still a certain gap between Lungsen and international giants such as Intel and AMD, we have reason to believe that in the next 5 to 10 years, Lungsen is expected to catch up or even surpass them. This is not an unattainable dream.